First, though, our national broad broadcaster and racism and bias. And it's not all just about Kamal. The ABC likes to smear others as racist. On border protection, it portrays mainstream voters as racist, fearful of refugees. And in Alice Springs, the ABC has smeared thousands of concerned citizens as white supremacists. But what about the ABC's own standards, its own accountability over racist smears dished out by its hosts? This, of course, is the story of how the ABC smeared Kamal, a great Australian loved by so many people, and they failed to apologise to him. Now, Kamal has been an icon of popular entertainment in this country for decades. He's never taken himself too seriously, always up for a bit of self-deprecation, including over this signature line. The simple question I've been asking for the last nearly 30 years, why are people so unkind? Yeah, well, someone was unkind to Kamal for real. He was smeared by ABC radio host Philip Adams. It came when Adams tweeted last month about the late, great Sir Donald Bradman labelling Bradlin a right-wing nutjob and a racist for not meeting Nelson Mandela on an Australian visit in 2000. Bradman, by the way, back then was 92 and within five months of his death. But anyway, Kamal responded on Twitter asking why Adams thought Bradman refused to meet Mandela and recounted how Bradman had welcomed him to his home every year across more than a decade before his death, as well as corresponding with him. The reply from Adams? Clearly, he told Kamal, Bradman made you an honorary white. When Kamal called out this racial disparaging, Adams didn't apologise, he just blocked Kamal on Twitter leading to this exchange in Senate estimates last week. Have you reviewed those tweets of an ABC employee and their effect in the world? Yes, we have. Um, that was uh, certainly uh, unfortunate. My understanding is Mr Adams has uh, uh, written uh, to Kamal apologising uh, for that. Privately? Privately, written to him apologising for that. Uh, and look, um, yes, we have investigated... But as the Australian Sophie Ellsworth revealed, that was not correct. There had been no apology. So last week, Kamal wrote to the ABC managing director saying, let me clarify, the only action that Adams has taken to date in dealing with this issue is to block me on Twitter and double down on his initial slur in which he referred to me as an honorary white. I have received absolutely nothing by way of an apology from Adams or his employer, the ABC. Since then, the ABC managing director has contacted Kamal and Adams has issued a faux apology by email. It pains me deeply that you believe I've been both unkind and cruel to you, Adams said. This stems from a misunderstanding about that tweet, intended as a rebuke to Bradman, not to you. I regret that my words have been misunderstood and that they have caused you unhappiness. Is that a sincere apology or weasel words and gaslighting? Here's Kamal, just last hour, with Andrew Bolt. And he doesn't seem man enough to face up to it and to simply apologise on air. I mean, meaning he, he is sending me a private letter to apologise something he did. He humiliated me, insulted me publicly. And... Fair, and ma fair enough there. I think any fair-minded Australian would be on Team Kamal for this one. Why indeed are people so unkind? But this also raises another important question. That is whether or not the ABC and its managing director are on top of their brief. Last week, we showed you that Anderson admitted he still had no idea who authorised that now infamous ABC News report that falsely portrayed an Alice Springs community meeting as a haven for white supremacists. And then in this Kamal episode, he's potentially misled Parliament by saying his presenter had privately apologised when that was not the case. So the team feeding information to the managing director, David Anderson, at Senate Estimates are either not providing him with full and accurate information or they're setting him up to fail.